Hello, hello. Karen Wolf here in the art studio. I am getting ready to paint some cute little pumpkins with you all. Um, just jumping on here this evening. I uh, hadn't been on here. Um, I've been busy <laughs> painting. I've been busy painting, recording, and uploading, and putting all those uh, three new videos on my website. So, I uh, got that all done, and I wanted to get on here and paint with you guys. So, um, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Karen Wolf, and I'm a painter, and I teach uh, you how to paint and become a better painter uh, in my online painting tutorials and uh, teaching. So, um, here we are. Um, got all kinds of excitement going on. Lots of things going on. I'm going to pull up my Facebook page down here uh, on my iPad. I, <clears throat> excuse me. I uh, can't see uh, comments on my phone, so I want to get you all down here. Sorry for this uh, confusion. Uh, sometimes it's e easier than than others. Uh, for some reason, my Wi-Fi is turned off. Oh, it was where I was at Jennifer yesterday. So, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing uh, doing well. Uh, I am. Um, Actually, doing better today. <laughs> Somebody's calling me. I don't know. It's like a... Oh, it was a voicemail. It was a spam caller. Y'all get those spam callers? They're crazy. Crazy spam callers. Um, There, I've got my Wi-Fi on. Sorry, I can't walk, talk, and chew gum at the same time. Y'all ever have that problem? <laughs> All right, now we're back. Got to go to the Art by Karen Wolf post. Sometimes I can see them on my phone, um, but lately, let's see, it looks like, hey, Pat, welcome, welcome. I can see you're watching, but I can see who's watching, but I can't see um, posts, so I'm going to turn this down. Okay, all right, welcome, hello. All right, so... I think I can see there. Okay, good. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to paint these little pumpkins here. I'm going to move this down so y'all can see. Y'all know I've got my, uh, see my cell phone number there? Not cell phone number, my text number in the back there. Uh, that's new. Yeah, that's new. Um, let me pull this in just a smidge closer. I know why my husband decides to come in here with the side by side as soon as I start recording. <laughs> Okay, here's what I've got. Just some really cool, cute little um, pumpkins on wood. Can y'all see those? Hope you guys can see those. Hey, Jennifer, welcome. <laughs> My face is red as a beat. Um, I'm going to paint these little um, pumpkins here uh, in a row. Did I flip my screen around? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Did I flip my screen around? Yes. <laughs> and I, that's how I tell is because if I touch my head on one side, I can... Uh, no, if it shows up on the other. Can't see the text numbers. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, that's because we're backwards. Everything's backwards. Okay. Is it because it's just too far away? Um, what this is, this new uh, text number thing, is... Um, that's not going to move. Is... Um, so that I can communicate with you guys. There we go. Can you see that, Jennifer? So that I can communicate with you guys. And you guys can communicate actually with me too if you want. Um, I was talking to one uh, one of the new signups last night uh, texting. Um, what it is is um, a way for me to communicate. My iPad's falling. Communicate with you guys. Um... And let you know when I am going to get ready to go live. Uh, there we go. Goodness gracious. That was crazy. When I'm getting ready to go live, I can see the pumpkin. Can you see the text number back there? Okay. Um, we got it all. All right. Got to see the pumpkins and you see the number. Um, the... the Text number is so that I can communicate with you guys, and it's really great. It's going to be a great way for me to um, send you guys uh, 
a notification via text that says I'm getting ready to go live on my page. I am, um, you know, I've got new paintings going on. I've got them, just added them. You know, go check them out on my uh, page or my website or whatever the case may be. Um, so this is going to be a cool way uh, for you guys, you know, if you're signing up on the uh, text messaging, uh, you can be notified of, of the membership when it's open, things like that. So really cool stuff. A quick way for me to reach out to you guys. So, hey, I can see uh, Jennifer's on here, Christina, welcome, and Suzanne. Uh, so that's something exciting. That's the number um, back there. It's 304-245-9690. If you all can't see that, let me know and I'll pop it up here on front. All you have to do is text me. Uh, just text me at that number and uh, text the word, um, you know, text Let's Paint or Painting or um, you know, love to paint or anything, something like that, uh, that has to do with painting, uh, and I'll know, um, that it's you all that you want text notifications, uh, that have to do with the painting stuff that I do. So, cool stuff there. That's really exciting. I was really excited about that. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Um, I'm just using some orange and some sienna painting in this background on this little pumpkin. Uh, and been wanting to do that for a really long time, and here we go. So that's fun stuff. Um, but I wanted to get on here and just show you these little, uh, we always paint on canvas, and occasionally I paint on wood, and this evening is a wood painting evening. Um, hey, Regina and Amy, welcome. Thank you all for jumping on. Uh, Y'all say hey when you jump on here. That That's real helpful. Um, I can see who's, who's on here, if you're first time, or if you're, um, if you're watching this on the replay later, uh, let me know that you're watching it on the replay. That's all real helpful so I can know who's watching these things. Um, but I wanted to, um, just do something different, something fun. And just give you guys different ideas of how you can use the, the techniques that I show you. Um, this one I just painted a little bit of brown on this wood, kind of a, a brown looking grayish brown color and I painted the pumpkin on there. This one I haven't painted the wood yet. Uh, not to say that I won't. I think that I might paint the background. But I just painted it in with some sienna and orange first and I'm just lightening up this side. I'm painting with a little uh, just a number four round here just to get some paint on there. So I um, appreciate you all jumping on here and watching. So y'all paint along. You can watch it Watch the video, and then you can paint it uh, later. So, I just put on some orange and sienna. Orange, and the sienna is kind of like a brownish orange color. And now I'm just adding some yellow and orange just to get some light on this side of the pumpkin. Then, I'm going to rinse my brush. And I put some of the, the dark lines back down and through the pumpkin there uh, with some brown and some sienna just to get those little dark lines that you see. The little, I just kind of put those down and through there. Nothing hard so far. Easy stuff. But this is something, something that's just a fun, fun little project. Um, that you can do just a little weekend um, fun project those are always nice just grab some little scraps of wood that you have and um, paint on them or you can paint uh, you can paint it on canvas if you want and I just put a, a little stem in there with brown and sienna then I'm just taking that brush and what I did here I might do a little do a little, um, I don't know if I like that or not. Do a little, uh, curl for those little, um, viney things. You can do some leaves if you want on it. Let's 
sky's the limit, guys. The sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want to on these things. So it's uh, not, not hard, not difficult at all. Um, I've been recording uh, for my All Access membership uh, folks and the online painting tutorials. Been getting those um, recorded and I've got the three new videos in there. So that's that's good news. Always good to get that done. Um, I just added some green for the leaves and then take a little bit of white on this mixed in with your brown and just lighten that side a little bit there. I forgot about that. There. Just little simple pumpkins. Just little simple pumpkins. And then if you just leave that brown, you could take a little bit of your brown on your um, half inch flat or a, just another little brush and you can outline that, darken that edge up a little bit. Kind of antique it a little bit. Kind of like that. This one, I think I'm going to do that a little bit on this one too. Just a little bit of just closing that in around the outside edge. I, I like that. Just kind of get that. Kind of closes off the edge so you keeps your eye on the pumpkin um on these you i'll show you you can do like a background color in first you can do uh let's do this gray color do uh, a little bit of um brown a little bit of purple hey guys hey kathy welcome hello um, I'm going to do a, just a little background color on this one. And I have a, um, a workshop coming up. That's going to be fun. The, the All Access membership is opening up later this month. And I'll be talking a lot about that. And the... Um, I have a workshop coming. I haven't had, uh, I called it a challenge the last couple times that we did one. Uh, I called it a, a challenge. And this time I'm calling it a workshop. I think a challenge just makes people think that it's something too hard for them to do. So this is just purple and brown and a little bit of white. Just making a kind of a grayish, brownish, purplish color. Just painting over this wood. If you have any like um, really rough edges, you could um, sand it a little bit with the sandpaper. I did that a little bit earlier. You can paint the edges too if you want. And then you can also to uh, Darken that edge a little bit. Take that color and that brown and just swish it on the outside edge. Just kind of darken that edge a little bit. Stuff like this really cute just to sit around and decorate with. Hey, Jackie. Hello. Long time no see, friend. All right, so there we're just uh, painted this one with a little bit of a brown background with the pumpkin in the front. This one, um, the little one here, was no paint on the background, uh, and it was just plain wood, and then I darkened up the edge with a little bit of brown. This one I did, uh, painted it in with the umber, a little bit of purple, and... Uh, Purple, brown, and white. Brown is umber. So here, this is going to be a long, long pumpkin. So I told you guys, I'm in, I'm ready for um, painting pumpkins. I'm just, I love to paint pumpkins. I do. I don't know why. Not, 
honestly not very good at it, but I just do. I love to paint them. And these you can paint them in as solid as you want, or you can even leave it in transparent a little bit like that if you want. If you like that look, you can leave it like that. Orange and sienna. Of course, it's showing some of the light through since I just painted it white. A little bit of white showing through. But I like that. I like that a little bit. So, let's see who all else we have here. Oh, thanks, Krista. I'll have to paint you some of these little cuties so you can put them in your shop. <laughs> Sit around with all your little doodads and things that you have in your... Over at 60 Grit. You could sell those to people with their other stuff they buy. So this, I'm just putting a little bit more orange. Of course, you get them, you might not want to get rid of them. Putting a little bit more orange on this side to brighten up that side over there. And... And this is just a whim, you know, a thing on a whim. I, I've not pre-planned this in any shape or form, so uh, don't, don't judge. <laughs> it, may, it may look great and it may not look great. So you all just, you know, bear with me here. So orange and sienna and then more bright orange on the the bright side over here. Of course, I'll need to brighten it up more. I've lost my train of thought. And it's still wet, so it's not wanting to cover very good. And it still has that real white place at the center. Love, love, love the fall. Uh, fall time of year, y'all get creative in the fall, and when the weather changes and fall gets here, everybody gets creative. I'm not sure why that is, but people do. I always, always have. Uh, I was talking to a gentleman over in the art store over in Charleston one day, and I was telling him that. I said, I don't know, it just seems like the fall time of the year just you get more creative and he said yeah that's uh, that's the way it is with most uh, creatives they get more creative in the fall okay so that's gonna have to dry a little bit or I'm gonna have to dry it with the hair dryer because it's not jiving with me it's not liking me so we'll move on to this one let that dry a little bit. Or we can do the top, the little top thing, the little top notch thing. And you can leave, um, leave space uh, to where you can write stuff on them um, if you want to do that. I'm running out of brown. I'll have to put a little bit more brown on my plate. I need to buy some more brown out of my Liquitex brown. Been painting a lot of stuff with brown on it. Okay, let's do this one. Kind of up. Like that. I'm just making these up as I go. I need to give me some more brown. Ooh, I threw it halfway across the room. So, all righty. Brown, and I had green, and that's going to have to be a little bit darker because the background is very light. Acrylic dries darker, so sometimes when you think it's too light, most of the time when you think it's too light, it's not. It looks like a big uh, pickle. <laughs> That's funny. 
Okay, all right, now we'll lighten this up a little bit. Like I said, I didn't know how these were gonna turn out, but I think they're cute. I think they're really cute. Okay. Then I'm gonna put in the little doodad up here with the script liner, I think. It's a little bit green. I'm gonna add a little bit. Anytime you wanna kind of calm your bright uh, pure green down a little bit. If you add a little bit of sienna or a little bit of brown to it, it'll make it so it's not so bright. finish that before I put the little line down through it um and this one so then we're going to do it and the back side's a little done for so we'll do the front all right they're turn not turned out too bad but you all think y'all like them I think so I think it'll be all right okay so this one let's do what do you think like a a brighter. I don't know that I want to do yellow. Do a bright, brighter background. Now you all know when I'm painting this, painting this stuff. I always say painting. Y'all ever notice that? I say painting. Um, when I'm painting this stuff, um, this is all getting ready for that next live sale. <laughs> I'll be having the next live sale in October. Y'all ready for another live sale yet? Man, those are fun. That last one was a blast. An absolute blast. Really enjoyed that. Okay, so we'll let that dry a little bit. See how that goes. Usually it dries, everything dries up so quickly in here. Um, now, I'm not doing these for um, a set necessarily. I'm just showing you some different things that you can do. Now, you could put them together, I guess. But if you want to put them together for a set, you would want to put, like, you know, some, you know, plain wood ones probably and then some different things. But I'm just giving you some different ideas. So, um, well, thank you, Angie. Hello. Hello. I hope you've been painting. I haven't seen any of your... Uh, pictures on my Saturday thing. Well, you did post some a while back, but I didn't, I think you didn't post anything just this Saturday. I guess I can't expect for you to post something every single time, right? <laughs> I shouldn't be so greedy. Yellow and orange will brighten up your uh, orange over here on this side. Brighten this one up a little bit more. Uh, acrylic, uh, like I said, it just dries two to three shades darker. So when you think it's um, light enough, it never is. Just never is. So you just got to keep working and working and working at it. I don't particularly care for that top like that. I may change it. So then I just added a little bit of white into my brush to get the some lights in there. 
for that one. Hey, Regina. We got Regina and Angie on here at the same time. I think about that. Are you all excited about the new, um, have y'all seen the new paintings? The three new paintings that I added? Those are so pretty. Um, I have, uh, well, the haunted house one. I don't know if you'd call that pretty, but I love it. I have the haunted, um, the haunted house, the flowers in the mason jar, autumn flowers in the mason jar, and, um, the barn. Um, those are the new ones that I added for September. So they're in the tutorial library. I hope you guys will be excited about those. I sure am. I'm always excited when I do the new paintings and finally get them on there. Worked real hard on them. Oh my gosh. I have, sometimes I have technical difficulties and I did this time. So I just keep lightening these up a little bit, just here and there. Ooh, that's a little bit white. Um, trying to get them a little brighter. Just adding some white and uh, orange to that to really make that pop a little bit. Okay, and then over here on this side, I think. This little guy needs some help. I don't know if that helped or not. Don't think. Painting is just a matter of uh, trial and error sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you just have to try it, and if you don't like it, then you fix it, and then you change it. So I didn't like that a bit. I just don't like this thing that it's so big. I think if I add that might be a little bit helpful. Not even sure. It's crazy whenever I get on here and I do these things just kind of impromptu, um, trying to figure them out as I go. It's kind of... different. Because usually I work out all my bugs ahead of time. Well, I'm just screwing that up, so I'm just going to paint over it and try again. Um, but this will show you... <laughs> This will show you right here that you can fix your mistakes pretty uh, pretty easily. You just paint over it. Right? There we go. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. I've piddled with that enough. Okay, think this one's dry? Yes, okay. All right, so now we're going to do another one. See how this one turns out. This board is a rough one. I might leave this one more transparent and not make it so solid. What do y'all think? And this one even has a little hole in it right there. The little piece of wood came out of it a while ago. But I like this one. Just kind of... Not painting it so solid. Do a little bit of dark over here on this side. I 
Hey, Tanya. Welcome, welcome. You're going to try painting them too, Krista? Um, yeah, you could you could do this easily. Yeah, you're um with your painting skills. Y'all have uh you and your son should get together and uh, paint some of them. Have a paint off. This one just driving me bonkers. I guess you guys have figured that out by now. I made it kind of too... I don't know what. <laughs> There's always a favorite. That's what Jennifer said. There's always a favorite. I think I like, which one y'all like the best? I like the first one so far, this one over here, the yellow one. I like it. Which one do y'all like the best? Nothing like putting you on the spot, huh? Tell I get real quiet when I'm concentrating. And then the dark here, I just added some umber and a little bit of purple just to get that dark, that dark color. Just umber, just, which is the dark brown. Umber is dark brown. And then some purple just to get that dark in there. The green was green and sienna. Hard to paint on this one. I have little bumpities, little bump, little bumps on it, real bad right there. And I'm trying to do this with a half inch flat. Think about that. I think I like it. Maybe that's what that one needs. It's just fun just to do stuff like that. Just to practice, just to do some fun therapy exercise. I mean, guys, you know, there's so much going on in the, uh, in this crazy world that, uh, you know, we just have no control over it. And for just the period of time that you're painting here, um, it's just therapy. It just really is. It's just, uh, a way to, it takes you just away far away and we all need that sometimes everybody has their um, thing their little outlet and this is mine I just um, I don't think about my troubles of the day and 
can, it's a, just a period of time where you can just relax your mind and not be stressed. And as you can see, <laughs> I just kind of, I just get lost in it all. I just get lost in it all. It's fine. Just real fine. I'm still working on this one. I should have left it alone. I don't know. I just do not like that one. I'm going to throw this one in the garbage. <laughs> I won't. I'll fix it. I'll do something different to it. I just keep trying to make it better, and I just keep making it worse. Maybe you all have a suggestion. You love the bumps. <laughs> That's funny, Regina. All right. Got that. A couple little leaves. Let's do some little... I don't know. Who knows? Okay. So, I like the first one and the two little ones. I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> That's funny. Who could pick just one? That's right. Who could pick just one? So, then once they dry a little bit and they start drying darker and you want to lighten them up a little bit, you just go back in with your lighter colors and just have at it and lighten them up and uh, the orange you can just keep adding as much of the bright pure orange that you want to get them brighter if you want them brighter or you could antique them a little bit and make them uh, more uh, rustic looking I'm going to take an old brush if I can find one. And I think I'm going to soften the edge of that one a little bit. And all I did was took some paint uh, that I had on my plate that was like a brown looking probably this color, which was brown, purple, and white, and just kind of scumbled that on there, because I didn't like that, just being pure, real bright like that. I don't like stuff to be real pristine. I like the more rustic stuff, don't y'all? Well, some people do, probably. All right, what do y'all think? You think we got it? You think that's good? Add a little bit more yellow and orange to that there to get that yellow, orange, and a little bit of white. And I'm just using a, um, bristle brush. Just an old bristle brush. Okay, that is the demonstration of the pumpkins on wood. <laughs> if you all like that, that was pretty fun. Did you all enjoy it? Fun times in the fun times in the art studio. Don't you all forget the text number over there. The 304-245-9690. This is um, a great way for me to get in touch with you guys. You should definitely uh, screenshot that and save it for later. Um, or do it now. And all you have to do is just text text 304-245-9690. And just text paint or painting or let's paint. Something like that. So I know that you guys want to... 
want to be notified when I'm getting ready to go live, when I have things like this going on and you guys miss the notifications on Facebook, um, you can be notified. I'll just send you a text. Everybody texts. Everybody's on their phone. So I'll send out a text that says, hey, I'm going live. <laughs> and there you go. Then, hey, it is a great idea, isn't it, Krista? Um, or I can send a text that says, I just uploaded some really cool videos to my YouTube channel. Go check it out. Or I've just uploaded some, you know, um, videos to my website. Or membership's opening. Time to sign up. Get on the wait list. Stuff like that. So, um, it'll be fun. And, um, you guys can communicate with me that way, too. So, it's really a win-win. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the pumpkins. They were um, real easy, just something just simple that you guys can do. Um, just a little weekend project. Just grab some little pieces of wood, little scrap pieces of wood, and paint. Or you can paint this on canvas. You can paint this on um, canvas if you want. But I wanted it to be um, a little bit more of a, um, a different project. Something that you guys could, you know... So you could see that you can paint um, the things that I show you all how to paint. You don't have to just paint them on canvas all the time. You can paint them on different things. You can paint them on wood. You can paint them on um, like a bucket or like a little, um, you know, little metal bucket or, um, gosh, I've painted on all kinds of things. Um, you can just paint them on all kinds of um different surfaces it really doesn't this thing's falling again it really doesn't matter so um not sure why that won't hold my ipad anymore <laughs> it's weird isn't it it usually does a really good job um but anyhow there's that um don't forget to uh text the number I've uploaded new videos. Check those out. There's all kinds of stuff already on there on my um, Arbach Harem Wolf uh, website in the virtual classes uh, library. There's all kinds of videos in there already, and I just added three new ones. Uh, the All Access Membership, if you're interested in that, it's getting ready to open up this month. September is um, my launch month, and get on the wait list for that. I'll post a link in the comments if you're uh, ready for the um, to join there. The wait list uh, will give you um, first. You'll you'll be the first one to be notified uh, that that's opening. Uh, it's a great opportunity for you guys to uh, learn to paint, uh, become better painters. I'll take you through the. Um, there's a success path you can go through, find out where you are, and it'll take you where you want to uh, be in the uh, your painting world, in your painting success path. Um, you will um, have opportunities in there to watch uh, little tutorials to take you through, you know, color blending, mixing, uh, things like that. And also you have access to all the over 60 um painting tutorials. You have access to all that. You have access to me. You have access to the videos. You have a way to take you through the success path. There's all kinds of fun stuff in there. I do drawings. There's a once a month uh, challenge, which is very simple, easy thing. Um, and you win, have an opportunity to win if you participate. There's gift certificates I give uh, for the um, challenge once a month, a, a 25 uh, gift card, not a gift certificate, it's a $25 gift card, um, that folks win for that, uh, for that, um, there's just lots of, um, it's a great, um, opportunity, it really is, for those of you who, um, paint and want to become better painters, um, it just is, so, um, I'm going to get off here, jump off here, and um, I appreciate you guys for coming on here with me. Like I said, if you're on the replay, um, just uh, let me know and say hey, and that's real helpful um, to get the word out. So, uh, you guys are great. Uh, God bless you, and take care, and I'll see you back on here again next time, and we'll paint something else real fun. Uh, who knows? Uh, you know. Paint the pumpkins. Paint the pumpkins. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.